Good evening, everyone. My name is Tony Pearsall. I retired from the Vallejo Police Department, and I want to thank, from the bottom of my heart, for, for everybody who's here tonight. Um, it's really, really great to see this many folks that are here. So we would like to, to start off tonight, and I wanted to start off with an invocation, and I want to introduce one of the Vallejo Police Chaplains, Tony Ubaldi. May we pray. O thou who has never failed us nor left us alone, we believe the promises of thy Son, our Savior, who said, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Come to us now, O Father, with thy comforting power and spirit. Whisper to each troubled and sorrowing person the assuring words of Jesus who said to the grieved, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me shall never die. Help us in the presence of death to realize the reality and truth of thy, thy words. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now I'd like to introduce another Vallejo Police Chaplain that's going to do a scripture, Charles Brown. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble with the torment. Fear not, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. Thank you. And I'd like to introduce Pastor Scott Peterson from Church on the Hill. Good evening. Thank you all for coming out. Friday I uh, got on the phone and I talked to several of the people that are standing behind me from the Vallejo uh, Police Chaplaincy Department, Tony Pearsall, members of the Vallejo Faith Organization, and just wondered what is the proper response to a tragedy that has occurred here, the taking of the life of Jim Kaboom. What do we do? It just seemed like we need to do something. And people have thanked me for organizing this. I didn't organize anything. We just made some phone calls and says, it feels like we need to do something. People need some place to go. We need to be able to express, even if it's in silence, our feelings, our compassion, our hurt, our mourning, our loss, our confusion. To come together and have a community of solidarity to be here with one another, freezing cold. Some of you knew Jim, some didn't. We're here because we're all affected one way or another. And so tonight it's just our hope that we'll be able to have a sense of of meaning and presence with one another as we've come. We're here because we care and because we don't know what else to do. And so I'm just gonna ask you if you would, just bow your head with me and we're just gonna pray. God, there's no answer to the question why. Why are we here? What are we doing here tonight? Lord, all we can do is reach out to you and to one another and ask for your help. We are your children. And we thank you that you're a God who's big enough to embrace us all, to give us strength and to give us comfort and to give us peace that passes our human understanding. And I just thank you for all these people that have come out here tonight who care, who want to support the Vallejo Police Department, to support uh, Jim's family, to support his friends, to support all who knew him and to gain support. 
We thank you for the presence that we sense here tonight. We ask that you would just meet us here and that, uh, that we would be better for it and that you would, would really give us the strength that we, we ask and the peace that we need. And everybody together said, Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Scott. What I'd like to do now is that we're having the candles lit. So if you haven't had the candle lit, uh, we are having people come around and do that, or somebody's by you that has a candle. We want to do that because I want to introduce uh, Debbie Barlow from St. Basil's Church, and she's going to lead us in a song that I think is an amazing song, and it is Amazing Grace. silence for Jim Caput. Thank you. What I thought of saying about Jim was 
the term daddy. That's what Jim was. That's what I am. That's what a lot of people here are. And, but he was daddy in a different way. It just wasn't for his children. It was for the children of the city of Vallejo. It was for the children in the school district. I have, in the 35 years that I was with the Vallejo Police Department, never saw another police officer that dedicated his own personal time to make this city a better city, to make our children in this city better children and give them the incentive to finish school, to be successful, to be exactly what everybody wants our children to be. And Jimmy did it more than any other officer that I've ever seen. I used to participate in a program he had, the Junior Traffic Patrol, and at the end of the school year, he'd do an award ceremony and have me come up and say thank you to these kids. And I've never seen that many kids so happy. I've never seen that many parents that were so appreciative of Jim Kapu than when he did those ceremonies and other ceremonies and other award ceremonies. I mean, talk about somebody who's going to be missed. I can't think of, I think of other people that are just as important, but he, just because of everything that he's done, you know, for the children in this city and the memories that we're going to have about Jim Kapu is just one of the most amazing police officers that I've ever had the opportunity to work with. And I, th I thank him from the bottom of my heart and I thank you all too, because I know that you'll always remember, you'll always remember him and what he's done for this city. What I'd like to do is introduce to uh, Council Member Stephanie Gomes to, uh, to represent the city of Vallejo. Thank you. On behalf of the Vallejo City Council and the city of Vallejo, I want to thank you all for coming out tonight on this cold night. We're here to honor the memory of our fallen officer, Jim Kapu. Officer Kapu was doing his job. He was protecting us from an obviously dangerous criminal and he paid the ultimate price. We owe him a debt of gratitude that can never be repaid and we will always remember his sacrifice and we will remember his duty. Officer Kapu died a hero, but the one thing that we've come to know as we've heard stories over these, this past few days is that he didn't only die a hero, he lived the life of a hero. He didn't live in Vallejo, yet he coached our girls' basketball team. He mentored Vallejo's children. He cared about Vallejo. He got involved in people's lives, adults and children. And that is a hero. He did this quietly. He, he, he didn't need any fanfare because he cared. And, and that's the kind of person and, and hero that he was. I want to uh, read a quote from Harper Lee and To Kill a Mockingbird because I thought it was very appropriate. I wanted you to see what real courage is instead of getting the idea that courage is a man with a gun in his hand. It's when you know you're licked before you begin but you begin anyway, and you see it through no matter what. You rarely win, but sometimes you do. Officer Kapu had courage. He was our hero. We thank him, and we promise, Officer Kapu, you will never be forgotten. Thank you, Council Member Gomes. Um, just wanted to bring one of our youth up, uh, a young man who posted on Facebook right after the event on uh, Thursday. And so Frankie, where are you? Frankie, David, Aristoso, come on up here. Posted something on the Facebook. Also, if there are there any members of the Vallejo High School basketball team here? Are you here? Yes. You want to appoint a spokesman to come on up here and say something about Jim? You do that while, while Frankie's there. Frankie um, wrote something on Facebook and um, he shared it with us and uh, talking about the inspiration that Jim was to his own life, Frankie. And if there's somebody that could come and turn that light back on, that would be really great. Thank you. 
Um, Officer Caput was not only an inspiration to be a better person, he was an inspiration to become a police officer. He was my, uh, he was my mentor. Oh, sorry. Um, officer Caput not only was an inspiration to become a police officer, he was my inspiration to be a better person. He was my mentor, he was there for me all the time. No matter what, he was always there. Uh, when I was younger, he helped with some family problems that we had. My older brother would run away, and it, no, no matter what the cost was, he would always go out and find my older brother, and bring him back. Uh, he was my hero. He was a true role model, and without him, I wouldn't be who I am today. Without him, I don't think Valet would be as good as well, what it is today. Uh, I wrote a poem, and it's titled Killed in the Line of Duty. They always knew they could be and never thought they would be. God knows no one ever should be killed in the line of duty. Some made their final stand, their profession's last demand. They fell with gun in hand, killed in the line of duty. A routine to many a cop. Some made one final stop, someone's mom or pop, killed in the line of duty. Others answered, others answered one last call to a robbery, theft, or brawl. They arrived only to fall, killed in the line of duty. Some were dressed in brown, some blue, some in gray, and some plain clothes too. Some were dressed just like me and you, killed in the line of duty. May their souls be forever blessed, for they who are now at rest, died doing what they loved best, killed in the line of duty. Forgotten they never could be, forgotten they never should be, thought they never would be, killed in the line of duty. God bless all those who fell, they are missed and loved so well. Let us pray and toll the bell, those killed in the line of duty. Thank you. What we'd like to do is, because I know it's, it's cold out here, but uh, if we had just a, a few people that wanted to come up, I wanted to ask, because Pastor Peterson did that, is, uh, is a member of the girls' basketball team, if one of you would like to come up and say a few words about Jim. Um, here we go, okay. Thank you. Hi, my name is Alessandra Jefferson. I played for Coach Kapu my junior and senior year at Vallejo High School. Um, he was not only a coach to me and all the girls on the basketball team, he was like another father, another brother, cousin, uncle. He, was, he meant a lot to a lot of people. And he taught all of us to never give up and keep pursuing on our goals and our dreams and to charge on. He was an amazing person. And he taught me to be as, as strong as a leader as I am to this day. And I can't, words can't even explain how much he meant to me and the girls at the school and the growing the basketball team and in this city alone. And like I said, he was just, words can't even explain how amazing he was. He, sorry, I'm just, I'm shaking. Okay. All right. When he first came to the school, I know he had a lot of people doubting him when he first started to coach. And, you know, even a few of us was like, who is this guy, you know? And um, we're off the bat, he didn't play no games. You know, he told us, this is how, who I am, this is what we're gonna do. And that's what we did. We had a rough start our first year, but the second year we went to state playoffs. And the only reason why we did that is because he made sure that we was together um, doing everything. He made sure we understand that we can't do this alone. We have to have people surrounding us, loving people. And we made it to the state, second round state playoffs. And it was just amazing. Like I said, I want to make sure everybody is praying for his family, his daughter and his wife. And, and I love him. And he'll always be in my heart 
and always being the heart of the Leo girls basketball team. <laughs> Thank you very much. I just wanted to ask anybody that, that knew Jim, if they wanted to say anything and just come up for a minute and just say something, whatever they would like to say, if anybody would like to do that, because we're going to, um, we're going to end this with a, a special song and that um, I really appreciate so many people being here and there's retired police officers that are, that are here that I really appreciate. So, um, does anybody would like to say something about Jim? No, two words. I'm a coach Will Williams. I coached with Jim Caput last year. Um, Jim Caput, in the last year that I've been knowing him, he's had a major impact in my life. He he was a man who gave people chances in spite of what folks said any negative about them. He was the type of person that said, prove to me. Uh, he opened up the doors for me. He opened up the doors for my daughter. The type of man that Jim Caput was, was a man of integrity. His character and conduct was to get the youth off the street. His purpose and plan was for the youth. There's been plenty of times when Coach Jim Caput personally came out of his pocket to make sure that myself and the girls as well taken care of. He was a man that sacrificed on a daily basis. I remember having a phone conversation with him before he reported and responded to the incident at Bank of America. We were talking about our comeback at Vallejo High School. The next thing I remember was someone called me into their office, asked me, do I remember the, do I have a heard of the incident? They asked me, do I know what cop it was? And I said, no. The first words that came out of my mouth was, you're lying, it's not him. Caput was not only a friend to me, he was a father figure. He had a big heart. He was kind, generous, and he's gonna be truly missed. We love him. We need to lift up his family. We need to stay encouraged, continue to move forward the foundation that he set we as a community need to continue to strive for excellence. We are as strong as our weakest chain. His philosophy was we together can accomplish great things. And I trust and believe in that. Even though some folks may say that the city of Vallejo is not no good, but Jim Caput proved them wrong by his character and conduct. And I'm a strong believer and a great friend and I admire and I honor Jim Caput on tonight. Hello, uh, my name is Donnie Balderrama. I'm a, a friend of uh, Jim's, and uh, I had the honor of knowing Jim for a short time. And, and in that short time, he uh, made a very big impact on my life. Um, and uh, he just always found a way to make every occasion a special occasion, whether it was saying hello to somebody, or you know, way whatever it was, Jim found it found a way to make that a very unique opportunity. And uh, last year after uh, two of his friends, um, Tammy and Joe had passed away, uh, you know, he, had, uh, he invited us to the uh, basketball game. So we went down to Vallejo High and it was the uh, last basketball game for the girls, uh, Vallejo and Hogan. And uh, when the game started, he, he had told all the, a few of the freshman girls that, that stayed behind, he, you know, he made them sit on the, on the bench and they were pretty bummed out that they had to stay for the rest of the game. And uh, they sat there through the game, and in the fourth quarter, when the, when they were having their little meeting, he uh, he asked those girls what it would feel like to to know that they were at the the last Hogan Vallejo game ever, varsity game, and they were like, yeah, that's pretty neat. And he goes, well, uh, get in the game, you guys are playing. And those girls, they were nervous. I don't even think they made a basket. And. Uh, <laughs> It was neat, you know, Jim got a technical foul. Uh, he had to sit out the rest of the game. <laughs> and uh, he, he didn't care, you know, and that was the man that he was. He always found a way to make things special. And after that game, uh, I, I had the privilege of being invited back in, into the locker room 
with the girls and and uh, he had uh, you know he let them know you know that, that he was very proud of them and, and they had celebrated and stuff and then after that he had uh, you know he let them know that, that he wasn't coming back uh, the following season and, and the look on those girls faces was just it was heartbreaking and you just seen how uh, important he was to to that basketball team and, and it wasn't just that basketball team he was that important to a lot of people you know he was that important to me and, and uh, Jim's a very special and amazing person and uh, you know when I uh, when I found out that he had been you know involved in that shooting um, I was just waiting to uh, go visit him at the hospital I, I knew he was going to be okay because he was you know he was just invincible and he's been doing that for years chasing those guys over the fence and you know he always got them you know and um, I, I, I'm surprised that we're here right now uh, I know Jim would be very honored for all the people that are here and uh, it, it is a very big blow to our community and I, uh, I really hope that um, you know it, it, it sparks a change you know they, they say if you want to change somebody you got to start with their grandparents and uh, Jim did that, you know, he, he, start, he sparked that change with all of us. And uh, I just hope that, that it's not for any reason, you know, for no reason that, that he, he left and that we didn't even take the chance to make a difference. So I know for myself, uh, you know, when I woke up today and, and every day since uh, Thursday that I really made an effort to, to make a difference. And um, whether it was just saying hi to somebody or, you know, offering my help and, uh, you know, I just hope that, that each and every one of you can do the same thing because Vallejo's a, a wonderful community. There's a lot of history here. There's a lot of great people. And, uh, you know, I just, I'd love to see this, this, this town uh, be what it was when, when my grandparents were here walking down the street, you know, in the 50s and 60s and, you know, so thank you. Hi, my name is Brad Elliott. I've um, been friends with Jim for about 15 years. Uh, our daughters, I mean his middle daughter, Jamie, and my older son uh, went to kindergarten together. We became fast friends after that. Um, after that, my middle kid and his youngest played soccer. Uh, Jim coached a soccer team and my daughter pretty much stayed with him. Um, throughout until she was 15, until Jim stopped coaching soccer. He was actually coaching towards the end. He was coaching soccer and the Vallejo uh, basketball team at the same time. And I remember when he told me that he was going to coach the Vallejo team, I asked him, how, how do you have time for that? And uh, all Jim could talk about was the need uh, of the kids there, the need of the program, and how he thought he could make a difference. And that's really what he was. I mean, all that he did, I, I think he, he, he found prof, profound joy. He got profound joy in bringing joy to other people. I think it's what motivated him and all the, the, the activities that he did with his family, all the activities that he did with his friends, the activities that he did with the other schools. He, he really was motivated by that. He was really a unique individual that you just don't find. And I don't know, I just think that it's something to remember and it's something to, in light of the media now and, and the hot topics that are going on with these coaches that are using their positions to do these sadistic things, here you've got a guy who basically had to overcome his position as a cop to reach people. And it was what he was going to do. It was what he was determined to do. I think he was gifted to do that um, more than anybody I've ever seen in my life. Um, I feel like I was lucky to know him. I feel like we all were really lucky uh, to know him and feel blessed that we were able to be touched by someone like him. And I, I, I um, will plan on being there for the family. If, if this were me, there's no way I would be able to do what Jim would do for my family because I just wasn't as talented as he but I think we should all band together and do our little part uh, to be what Jim would be. Thank you. Thank you. And the last speaker. 
Uh, just real quick, uh, my name's Dave Knoll. I used to do loss prevention for Safeway stores. And Jim picked up quite a few perps from me, and he always carried much professionalism, and he always had a personality with that. Um, I do want to say that from everybody that's here and every, what everybody said, I can tell that from the, the lives that he's touched, his good will go on. So let's, uh, let's all give a hand for him. Thank you. And, uh, okay, last speaker. <laughs> we have to, this is last okay, my name is Vernia Brown. And I live in Country Club Crest. Um, Jim Kapoor, I came home one day and he was all across my driveway. I'm going, what are all these officers across my driveway for? And so I ran and I said, Officer, what are you across my driveway for? He said, I've been a break in. And he, your next door neighbor, and he said, they have really messed that house up. And I said, Officer, and he told me, he said, you go in the house and you be safe. And I say, thank you so much. And he gave me his card and he said, if you ever need me, just call me. Thank you. All right. <laughs> thank you very much. That was great. All right, what I want to do is um, we have one last song that we want to we want to sing. And for everybody that has those candles, if you want to um, keep them, that's fine. But we, we have people that we're going to uh, collect them too because we didn't want them just to lay around. So what we're going to do um, is we tried to find a song that we thought would be Jim Kapoor. And we found one. And I think it was a, it's an amazing song. And it's a song that it's him. And it's all about him. And it's about what he's, who he is and what he's done for kids and, and what he's done for everybody. So. If you please listen to the words to this song.
Thank you. And thank the city employees. Thank you. Go ahead. Clap. That'd be great. What I'd like everybody to do, raise your candles, look up, say, Jim, we love you and we're going to miss Jimmy, you. I love you. Thank you all very much for coming out. This was this was wonderful. Thank you. Good night.